your side from today's TMJ4. This is Live at 6. Right now at 6, surprise developments surrounding the man charged with killing his police officer wife Christmas Eve. Today, Ben Sabina pleaded guilty to killing Wauwatosa police officer Jennifer Sabina. Cody Hoyok was in the courtroom as Sabina made the public admission. Tony, Cody. Mike Carroll, this was a little more than six months in the making. After attempts to push for an insanity plea, the 30-year-old took the oath and took responsibility for what happened. Yes, ma'am. Shackled to a wheelchair, Ben Sabina decided to close this chapter once and for all, answering to the charge of murdering his wife. What's your plea to that charge? Guilty, Your Honor. The 30-year-old sought out an insanity plea to no avail. Two psychiatrists ruled they believe Sabina was sane that Christmas Eve when he shot Officer Jennifer Sabina. He understands what intent to kill means. After looking at his options, Sabina made the choice to take a deal and plead guilty before his trial. Quite honestly, he wants to get the decision done as quickly as possible, and that's why we did not wait until July 8th in order to do that. Sabina has a mandatory life sentence ahead of him, but prosecutors agreed to recommend he be allowed to ask for parole in 50 or 60 years when Sabina is in his 80s or 90s. Under these circumstances, this was an appropriate resolution from our standpoint, and, and uh, we support it fully. Officer Sabina's brothers in blue silently watched on. Ben's family fought tears. Is there anything that you guys would like to say today? Oh, thank you. The DA's office says the officer's family is on board with the decision. They're grateful that the case is reaching this resolution. Now, this afternoon, Wauwatosa police officers voiced their relief that Sabina would not go to trial, which really spares the families involved from reliving the gruesome details of this case. Sabina will be sentenced in August, but it is possible the judge may ignore this recommendation, and Sabina could face the possibility of life in prison without parole. Live in the newsroom, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. Yeah, very real possibility. Thank you very much.